What's up, you two? Welcome back to MMO's World. We are going to be recapping the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We are starting the news this week with Warframe, and Warframe is going to get a brand new expansion launching this week called the Fortuna expansion, which most of you already know about. As per usual, Warframe is a free-to-play game, so the expansion Fortuna is going to be free, and some of the new content features... Fortuna, a sweeping open world landscape on the visionary terraform planet of Venus, giving both new players and veterans a chance to quickly access entirely new gameplay content. Like hopping on the Radical Bondi K Drive hoverboard, so yes, hoverboard riding is a new thing, or soaring through the air via an arc wing. And you can continue to have fun in the open world by doing exploring, hunting, mining, fishing, and facing off against the nefarious Nef Anyo and the money-driven Corpus. So it's packed with new content, this expansion. So keep your eyes out for it launching anytime over the weekend. Moving on, we got some major news updates from ArenaNet's Guild Wars 2 as well. And come November 13th, Guild Wars 2 is going to be revamping their runes and sigil system. What is the biggest change here, it's that runes and sigils in Guild Wars 2 will now become salvageable. That simply means all those Black Lion salvaging kits and all your silver salvage-o-matic and things like that can now deconstruct and get rid of runes and sigils, which is clogging up your inventory space. This is a great change. But whenever you salvage an armor or weapon now, you will destroy the runes and sigils within those armors and weapons to create a new crafting material called Lucent Moat. So that also means that all professions now can learn new recipes for creating runes and sigil moving forward so you don't have to rely on RNG to get them and then use an upgrade extractor to get them out of those armor and weapons. So this is a great quality of life change coming to Guild Wars 2 next week. Elsewhere, Final Fantasy XIV has been updated this week with the launch of Patch 4.45. The new update introduced the next chapter of the Forbidden Land of Eureka along with further adventures for everyone favorite inspector extraordinaire Hildebrand. So what's the update all about? Well, as explorers continue their journey to reach the headquarters of the students of Bildesion at the center of the isle, players will uncover a network of caves hidden within the massive mountains where frozen tundra gives way to smoldering lava. Players will reunite with Detective Hildebrand once more as the hunt for a legendary sword of great power continues. So in short, expect to see some great story content being added to this patch. Up next, Grinding Gear Games has announced today that they will bring their award-winning ARPG, Path of Exile, to PlayStation 4 in December 2018. Path of Exile is completely free to play, of course, never pay to win, and it has continued to be one of the largest online ARPGs with continual massive audience growth, with successful launches on the Xbox One and in China, have more than doubled the Path of Exile player community since August 2017, with over 3.5 million players having played the game's 2017 expansion, the fall of Orioth. So those of you waiting to get your hands on this ARPG on the PS4, it's finally coming, you guys. December 2018. Now, if only they would announce that they're coming to the Nintendo Switch as well, that will give Diablo 3 a real run for its money. And finally this week, Blizzard has announced early in the week that Hearthstone has hit the 100 million player mark. As a way of commemorating Hearthstone's 100 million player milestone and thanking players everywhere for bringing the game to life, Blizzard is going to be holding a special in-game event which has already begun and will last until November 11th. During that time, players who log into the game will receive a one-time reward of six free packs from the most recent expansion set, the Boomstay Project. In addition, players will be able to complete a series of celebrate the player's event quests to earn up to 500 gold which can be used to acquire card packs from any set in the game and participate in the arena mode a fun alternative form of competition in Hearthstone. And that wraps up our MMO news recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.